every single time I post something like this of my book on Instagram, I will get multiple, you know, people commenting and writing me direct messages saying like, what program are you using? Like, what is it? I want to use it. And I'm like, it's a word. <laughs> so this just so you know, is the inspiration today. We're going to focus on tips and tricks to help you write better in word and all the cool features that it has that most writers don't even know that it has. Hi guys, this is going to be a really quick tutorial on Microsoft Word for writers and all the amazing tips and tricks within this program. I have eight that I wanna show you today, although I may find that there's even more than that, so we'll count as we go along. These are things that you can use while writing, while editing, whether working on editing for yourself or with beta readers and critique partners and even your editor. So these are really, really useful tools in Word, especially if you're like me and you don't wanna buy Scrivener, although, no shade against Scrivener. I just am really, really attached to Word as a writer. Just a quick side note, this is not a formatting video, so I will link my video on formatting below if you want something more like that. And I do have plans to do kind of a formatting from scratch video in the near future as well. But for today, we're gonna focus on tips and tricks to help you write better in Word and all the cool features that it has that most writers don't even know that it has. Okay, so I have my screen recording going so that you can see everything that I see, and I'm going to go ahead and go through it on screen for you. And I'm going to use The Stolen Kingdom since I have shared the first chapters before and I don't mind you guys seeing a little sneak peeks of this book. So the first thing, we're just gonna jump right into it, is the zoom in and zoom out feature. So what I often do, look at the bottom right corner here where my mouse is, is I often click this zoom out feature. You can slide the bar or you can just click it and you will get different levels of zoomed in and out. So I'll just show you some examples like this. And this is actually what inspired today's video in case you're wondering, because every single time I post something like this of my book on Instagram, I will get multiple you know, people commenting and writing me direct messages saying like, what program are you using? Like, what is it? I wanna use it. And I'm like, it's a word. <laughs> so this just so you know, is the inspiration. So obviously with the zoom out, feature you can also zoom way in which can be very handy if you just need to if especially if you're editing but also if you're writing and you just need to focus on that one part of the book and you don't want to see all the other stuff going on it's distracting you you name it it helps also to zoom way in you'll notice that i said focus because same spot down at the bottom right next to the zooming tool is the focus mode so check this out this gets rid of everything except the page. This feature is super helpful for NaNoWriMo because as you can see, it shows absolutely nothing except the page. And so if you are somebody who gets easily distracted like I am, it can help to just literally get rid of all the distractions. You can't see any bars. You can't see all the other apps you could click on on the side. You can't see anything except the page. So I love that feature to get out of it. In case you're wondering, you just hit escape. And there you go. Now we're gonna jump up to the top and to the tab that says view. And so let me really quick pause. I'm going to go ahead and click. I'm on a Mac, so I'm clicking the little apple at the top left. So this might be a little different on a PC, but if you go and you look at the about word, which you can do by clicking word and then the drop down about word, you can see that I have the 2016 version right here. And that says version 15.29.1. So I just wanna put in a quick note that just like everything else, word can continues to upgrade and change things. So where to find these particular features may change for you. And you may need to do a little Google search, like where to find X thing that I described to you today. But even if it's located in a different place, you should have most, if not all of these features in pretty much every word that's out there, I think. Okay, back to it. Some of these things are turned on naturally. It's like we're in print view. Um, you can explore all of these things. You can have different Word documents open. You can actually split them so you can see multiple Word documents at a time. There's a lot of cool features up here, including the zoom in and out that we just looked at and also the focus option right here that we just looked at. But I'm gonna bring you over to one of my favorite, favorite features in Word, which is the navigation pane. Now, it has three different sections to it as well as a little search bar thing here. So this first one lets you look at your entire document really, really quick. So I could scroll down and click on the bottom page, which is my about page, just like that. 
instead of having to scroll through the document as a whole like this. The next part of the navigation pane does require to have some formatting in it, which again, I have that formatting video. I'll link it below and I can do a video on formatting from scratch as well if you'd like, but this is going to show you specific formatting things. So if you had subtitles, sometimes they will show up. Other times you'll see like chapter headers so you can click on them like that and as you can see it shows you exactly where it is so i've shown chapter two before i'll give you a sneak peek and sign up for my author newsletter it'll bring you straight to that or also buy oops there's my also buy page in there yes this particular tab does require some formatting but as you've seen from my formatting video or if you've played with formatting in word then you know it's actually not that hard to add it it's very simple to use the style panes and create a header like that for chapters but i'm going to go back to the view tab because we are not here for formatting and i gotta catch myself but let me know if you want that video in the comments so the next thing i want to show you is actually also in this navigation pane right here and this is helpful if you are editing yourself or you're working with beta readers or critique partners or your editor because if you leave a comment which i'm going to show you in a moment it will show up here and you will be able to see all changes being made to your document and i'm going to come back to this because that requires me to show you the next one which is track changes and comments those two features can be found on the review tab which i've clicked on here at the top and these are the features that i use most often in editing like all the time for pretty much every single edit. I have something commented on like a note to myself or notes from other people to me for me to work on. So I'm just going to put one in there for you. So let's say that I wanna write a note to myself, work on this chapter. And if this is a note to myself, I could say needs more X and why and whatever notes that i want it to have and i'm moving really fast here so i'm just going to point out how i did that it's up at the top here where it says new comment there's a little plus and now that there are comments in the document you can see the little options here have lit up which is to delete it if you're on it you can go ahead and click resolve if you're letting somebody else know like if you're working with someone and you want to let them know that you resolved it i don't use that feature much i just delete it or if you have multiple comments in the document, which if you're working with others, you absolutely will. I have had hundreds from editors. I've even had over a thousand edit notes. And so same thing, if I'm editing for myself, I usually will have at least dozens, if not hundreds of notes to work on, depending at what stage I'm in. So let's add another one to show you. Um, I'm gonna pretend that I'm working on sentence structure. So too many sentences starting with ing verb for example so now when i click next it's going to go back and forth between these two notes now that we have notes in the document i'm going to go back to that review pane which i've left open and you can see that the changes are right there but there's more i've lost track of what number we're on the next thing that you can do is put on track changes that's this button right here in the middle you see how i clicked it and it turned on and it turned green then if i was to for example maybe i'm answering the editor's note maybe this was my editor that wrote this and they said don't start the sentence with a verb so it meant everything to me to learn to rule now i don't think that's a good sentence at all but as you can see it highlighted all the changes that i made here that are new since i turned track changes on so this is specifically with working with editors very often they will turn on track changes so that you can see absolutely everything that they do i don't personally use this particular feature for myself but if you wanted to if you wanted to make sure that you saw everything you changed you absolutely could um, I think for if it was just me, I would get a little overwhelmed, but that leads to this next feature, which is right next to the track changes where it says all markup. You can actually turn the markup off. Now you'll see that all those comments that we put in are gone. You'll see that the highlighted sentence with the changes it's not highlighted anymore. So it looks as if it's a clean document, which somebody, one of you asked me about, and that is how you do that. It's very easy. Oh, my foot's falling asleep. Um, so almost done. I'm gonna point out to you that over in the review pane, it actually shows you deleted stuff, 
comments and insertions. So it shows you all the changes in the review pane, which is so handy. There are a lot of other cool features in here. Like you can protect your document if you didn't want somebody to copy it and you wanted to send it to them, you actually could do that. And then of course there's other features that I think most of you know about, but I'll point it out just in case, which is the thesaurus. I love, love, love looking words up and just getting ideas for like, hey, maybe I don't want to use the word learn. So maybe I want to absorb and acquire and cram. <laughs> um, and then of course, there's the word count feature. This will actually show you how many words the Stolen Kingdom is, which it says 82,976 words with 333 pages. And it should probably go without saying, but there's also a spelling and grammar check. Very, very, very useful tool. And again, I never know what you guys know about, so I wanted to point it out. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the markup back and then I'm removing the changes that I made. <laughs> because I don't want to mess up this document. There we go. Okay. So there you go. Those are, I'll put the number on the screen here of how many tips and tricks that there are in Word because I did not keep track, but there was a lot of cool things that you can do. And that's just in the view and review tab. There's also so, so much in the layout tab and the home tab. And those are more for formatting. So again, if you want a video on formatting from scratch, I can definitely do that. Just let me know in the comments. And then again, I do have like a formatting 101 type tutorial below for you as well. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was exciting and encouraged you for your writing this NaNoWriMo. And I hope that it maybe made you excited to read The Stolen Kingdom after getting a sneak peek at the first couple pages there. I think that's everything. So I'll let you guys get back to writing. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I don't have anything. <sighs> Okay, uh, this is why I don't film at night.